Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the next video in the Fast API tutorial. And in this video, we will learn about query parameters. Let's start with an example. Say I want to search my database for employees based on their name and age. Using query parameter, I can achieve that functionality using something like this. So this is the endpoint and you can see that we are passing two parameters called name and age. These are called query parameters. So you can identify this basis the question mark here. It starts with a question mark, then the first query parameter followed by the ampersand and then the next query parameter. If you have more query parameters, there'll be one more end and so on. This endpoint will search the database for employees with the name Jerin and age 28. Let's implement this and see how it works. Let's create the endpoint. So we'll say app.get. I'll say get employees or better search employees. So here, as opposed to the path parameter, I don't need to provide anything in the URL. I can directly go and write the function, the search employees. And this is where we provide the query parameters. So let's start with the name and age, right? Now, to ensure that this is working, I'll just return the name as it is. Same with H. Okay, so let's go back to the doc, refresh it, and get a new endpoint. I have two fields here. I'll try it out. Jerin and 28. Execute it. I'll get the response. Okay. The main part to check here is that if you see the URL, you can see that it's coming up as a query parameter like this okay right using these values i can now search the mongodb database and return the value to the client so i'll say employees and because we are searching there may be multiple employees with the name jerin and age of 28 right so we are going to filter out we are not going to get but we are going to filter out so we'll say employee dot objects dot filter can say name equals name age equals age okay now this is fine but uh, because we are doing a search okay we may not get the string as it is the way we have stored in the database right it can be small letter it can be capital letter it can be you know variations of the names right so to ensure that we, we get the values properly. We use something like name. Wow. I contains name. The, in this case, it will do a case insensitive search. Okay. So even if I put something like Jaren, okay, this will still match something like this because it's essentially going to search this Jaren here, whether it's part of this string. And it's going to check in a case insensitive manner. All right. So this is better in case of a, a functionality such as search. So now let's return a proper response with return employees and I'll return employees. Oh, and by the way, we have to use that JSON dot load s. This will be to JSON. Yeah. Now let's go back to the doc and execute this. We have one employee who matches the search uh, parameter. So that is working well. Now, as an additional validation, I want to make this age as optional i don't want to provide age during my search all the time 
So I want to make this optional. Whenever I do provide age, I want to run a validation which says that age should always be greater than 18. So how do we achieve that validation? So similar to path, we can use something called query in, in query parameters. So from fast API, I can import query, right? Mention this age as an integer and specify that this can be none, but whenever someone do provide this age, it should be greater than 18. So this is how we can achieve that validation using query. Now let's go back to the document and refresh this. Here you can see source employees, name and age, but it's not mandatory. So let's try it out. So we'll say Jaren. Age is not required for so execute this. I get nothing, which is strange, right? Let's go back and see why that happens. Now, whenever age is not provided, it's actually none, right? So you can say there is no value that has been assigned to age. So to mitigate that issue, we can use the or operator from queue. So we can say from mongo engine dot query set dot visitor import queue. Anyone who is uh, familiar with uh, Django ORM might have seen a similar operator called queue. Right, so here I can mention from filter dot filter Q and I can say or Q age is equal to age. So it's an or operation that's coming up. So let's go back and see whether it is working. So I'll keep it as blank and execute again. Now it has come up. Now you can see that there is a response with Jaren choose as the return document. So that, that works. And to make it better, we can have a type annotation of str for the name as well. So this is essentially how you would use query parameter. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will talk about request body.